Ladies and gentlemen, Life Science put out a report that Neanderthals may have been extinct by a drop in their birth rate. A slight one, 2%, wiped them out. And, you know, they really don't know what happened, but I do believe they had a fertility problem because, you know, these things were hybrids. And I believe just looking at the skull of a Neanderthal, I believe these depictions that we have been seeing are false. I don't believe they look anything like this. I think the reason why they keep giving us these depictions is because they are trying to find a way to humanize it, make it look somewhat human. And I don't believe it looked anything like this. Just looking at that skull, because I saw years ago, I remember seeing the Neanderthal skull next to a chimpanzee and they looked very very similar. And my guess is the thing looked more like an ape than human. I don't believe it looked like this at all. I think this is the biggest fraud that they're playing on the world about what the Neanderthal looked like. When you look at that skull, those eye sockets are enormous. There is no way just looking at that thing it had any human resemblance. It looked more like an animal than human, in my opinion. But I definitely don't believe these depictions that we see of it at all. So Neanderth Neanderthals could have gone extinct due to a slight drop in their fertility rates, new study found. Well... The earth has a way of removing anything that don't belong here. Now, one thing I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they don't know the origins of the Neanderthal. It's not tied to anything on this earth. So its DNA are not linked to anything on this planet. So that tells me it never should have been here in the first place. The last of the Neanderthal, the closest extinct relative of modern humans, disappeared from Europe about 40,000 years ago. Previous research estimated that at its peak, the entire Neanderthal population, both in Europe and Asia, was quite small, totaling 70,000 at most. Yeah, that is small compared to... Um, you know, humans on this earth, which were plentiful even back then. Scientists have long debated whether the dispersal of modern humans across um, the globe helped kill off Neanderthals, either directly through conflict or indirectly through the spread of disease. The disappearance of the Neanderthal population is an exciting subject. Imagine a human group that have lived for thousands of years and is very well adapted to its environment, and then it disappears. See, I don't believe it was human. I, I don't care what anybody say. That Neanderthal was not human. Um, the study senior author, uh, Silvana Kademi. All right, so she's a paleoanthropologist at IX Marcel University in Marcel, France, told Life Science for a long time it was thought that Homo sapiens had simply killed the Neanderthals. Today, thanks to the results of genetic analysis, we know that the encounters between Neanderthal and sapiens 
were not always so cruel and that interbreeding took place. Even today's humans have genes of Neanderthal origins. Those are white people because black people don't have a trace of Neanderthal. Um, instead of investigating why the Neanderthals disappeared, we look for how uh, of their demise, Kandemi said, specifically the scientists generated computer models that explore how Neanderthal populations might decline and go extinct over time in response to a variety of factors such as wars, epidemics, and reduced fertility or survival rates among men and women of varying ages. We quickly found, uh, very quickly we found something unexpected, the disappearance which occurred over a very long period cannot be explained by a catastrophic event, Kademi said, computer models assumed Modern humans killed off Neanderthal via war or epidemics found that these factors would have driven Neanderthals to extinction far more rapidly than the 4,000 to 10,000 years in the um, archaeological record during which modern humans and Neanderthals are known to have coexisted in Europe, the researchers say. Scientists also found that neither an increase in juvenile or adult survival rates nor a strong decrease in fertility rates were likely causes for the long decline seen in Neanderthals. Instead, they discovered that Neanderthal extinction was possible within 10,000 years with a 2.7 decrease in fertility rates of young Neanderthal women, first time mothers less than 20 years old, and within 4,000 years with an 8% decrease in fertility rates in the same group. The disappearance of the Neanderthal was probably due to a slight decline in fertility among the youngest women. Kandemi said, this is a phenomena that is limited in scope that over time had an impact. Well, yeah, well, low fertility is always going to impact a population. We see that going on right now. You know, I mean, there's, you know, the, the scientists even say once you fall below 2.1 as far as birth rates is concerned there's no reversing that you can't turn that around and if you look at Europe where it was notable first they have never turned around their birth rate and they're not going to turn it around here in the United States at 1.75 you know and that's the thing. Once the groups fall below 2.1, we haven't seen not one group here in the Western Hemisphere, over in Europe, Australia, where the low birth rates are notable. None of these groups have turned the decline in birth rate around. None of them. Okay, so look, they weren't even doing abortions back then. So why were they not procreating enough to keep themselves alive? You have to ask the same thing about the Neanderthals. Why weren't they procreating enough? And is it possible that what happened in young Neanderthals is what we're looking at today? I mean, look, it's the people that have the Neanderthal gene that have the declining birth rate. So... um Neanderthals disappeared during a time of climate change. Environmental fluctuations might have led to a slight decrease in food and in turn may explain a reduction in fertility, Kandemi said. 
So Kadimi noted that prior work suggests that with modern humans, if the average number of birth rates fell to a level of 1.3 among women of the world, our species would disappear in 300 years. This is an unlikely model, but the results would be very rapid. So this is the scientist's findings, y'all, on why they believe one of the reasons the Neanderthals disappeared from the earth, the original Neanderthals, not the ones that are walking around with the Neanderthal gene, which technically they're Neanderthals too, just modern day, you know? But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I just think, number one, it was eliminated from the earth because it should not have been here in the first place. They don't know where that thing came from. Even to this day, you can ask any scientist, what are the origins of the Neanderthal, they will tell you, we don't know. We don't know. And and by the way, I did ask a scientist this many years ago. And to this day, they still don't know where this thing came from. And they can't explain how it really disappeared. Everything you hear are just a bunch of theories. But it's not far-fetched to believe that they could not adapt to the world's climate and they just could not produce at the same rate as the Homo sapiens could. You know, the real humans, they could not produce at those same rates. And technically, we are seeing that today. You see the Western Hemisphere, and they can't produce like Africa, where the real humans are. They can't produce like they can. We see the similarities today. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.